Hey there, fellow viewers of YouTube that are watching this video right now. Uh, it's your boy, Traster Gamer, and uh, as you can see, we are building a castle. Me and my friend, Man Gamer, we are building a castle. Uh, there will be no audio uh, except for the sounds in the game. So you will not hear my voice, you will not hear Man Gamer's voice as uh, some te technical difficulties. Uh, but we are in the middle of a Discord call, and we are trying to build this really big castle. Um... So without further ado, here is just a tiny little speed run of our castle progress. Uh, hope you enjoy. Uh, leave a like and uh, maybe we'll speed run through other um, Minecraft creations. Um, yeah, uh, enjoy. P.S. I also go through this whole entire video and I do a couple different voiceovers along the way explaining like what we're doing what the progress was made and what was going through our mind at that moment so if you ever get confused i do have voiceovers scattered across this video um explaining what we're doing the progress we're making and uh what's yet to come enjoy i say that too much
this point in the video, we're having some trouble with the Discord call, so that's why we we're chatting through Minecraft. We actually do that quite a bit in this build, as uh, the Discord doesn't really work the way we want it to. So uh, there will be a lot of me stopping the video, uh, as if uh, we're trying to fix a Discord uh, call signal thing. But, you know, sometimes we get to work, sometimes we just say screw it and call through Minecraft. So it all just comes with the best, I guess. Can I be the first to say that this castle is, the outside does not look too good, but this is a work in progress and we aren't very good castle builders, so don't blame us. <laughs> Definitely a castle in progress. This stair, stair design was really tricky to get at first. I wanted to create a nice little spiral texture staircase that you could, you know, walk around stairs and it wasn't just a straight up down staircase. But this was pretty tricky as we had many floors and wanted, this, wanted the stair, stairs to stay in the middle of the floor. We didn't realize how much room it would take up on the floor until we actually built it. So we are just improvising as we go along as what to do with the rest of the inside. Let me just say as I walk outside and punch this creep like that, that that moat, that lava pit right there is completely a man gamer's idea. That's definitely not going to stay like that, but we do plan on having the lava moat uh, around the base. We just really have to improve it, but we're trying to fix up the castle uh, before we focus on the outdoor recreation area of the castle. Now I do this specific design for any type of castle-like building I do. Uh, these are just lava tubes. Uh, they're just basically lava inside tubes. Um, so I basically always do this. And I had a man gamer like really confused. He was like, dude, what are you doing? And uh, don't worry, I did turn fire spreads off. I was a smart cookie. I wasn't going to burn down the whole floor. That's why he said nice right there. Because <laughs> he was pretty impressed um, with the whole lava tube idea thing. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing here. Just in case you guys didn't get the drift either. It's just a really cool design flaw. And well, I've always liked it for a very long time. And it's a really nice light source that looks better than torches. So, you know, Minecraft creative ideas.
Now, as you can see, you'll see me doing this a lot, just flying around the castle for no random reason. Well, I'm actually just trying to see how the outside looks and make myself feel positive that we're doing a good job. Um, we're, I know we're working on the inside a lot, and we are going to continue working on the inside a lot. And, uh, and then eventually we will start doing more work on the outside. Uh, but at this point, it's if I'm just flying around the castle uh, just randomly. It's just me trying to figure out what to do next for the outside of the castle to make it look better. Another reason I like doing this staircase design was because now I have like these tiny little rooms underneath my stairs where I can store chests and crafting tables and whatever I want. It's just a nice little cubby hole to be able to go in and like, you know, especially if, with the, if you're playing with noobs, they won't even see that. Especially if I use dark oak doors against that uh, dark oak, it, it'd be like a really nice little hiding chill spot. Now I am working on the basement. Actually, me and Man Gamer had quite the conversation as I was building this. First, he came over and he's like, "Well, what are you doing?" And I said, "Well, I'm building a basement, you know, because usually every castle is a basement." But he wanted to get all realistic and thought we were building a dungeon. And then we had a tiny little joke and he, of him thinking I was building a sex dungeon. Sorry, YouTube, don't de demonetize me for that because that is not what I'm building. I told him, no, dude, it's, you know, one, that was extremely inappropriate, and two, it's just a regular basement. Uh, and then that, we were in a Discord, Discord call for this, so he's like, are you, uh, you recording? And I was like, um, yeah. And so then we got the Discord call, and he said all that, and I was like, dude, yeah, no, no, it's just a basement, dude. No, well, Man Gamer said he would work on opening out a basement. Uh, I didn't realize he had a firework dispenser thingy up here. Uh, so he had fireworks, and I'm starting to work on, like, the bridge uh, that extends out from the door. And, uh, well, I kind of told him uh, that the fire go thing was going to be a no-no because that interfered with my bridge thing, and I was trying to build a bridge. Uh, so he tried building that, and I tried helping him, like, at least see if we could work something out. 
uh, as I placed dispensers along the wall, but it didn't work out, so we decided to scrap the idea in total. At this point, I was telling about the moat and how I didn't really like the way he put it. Uh, I think I told him we should at least extend. We can keep it where it's at right now and upgrade it. At least extend it out to where my bridge has ended. So he agreed with that. So while he was out, you know, he was trying to fix the moat. I might have to go in and fix it some more. I tried getting his firework thing to start, as I see right here. But eventually, it just didn't work. So I told him, well, well I mean, while you're fixing up the moat i'm gonna come in and i'm gonna work on the basement uh so this turns out to be a pretty good basement pretty big and actually if it wasn't for the speed run thingy this basement took us quite some time this whole castle actually took us quite a few days not we didn't get this done in one day i've had to merge several clips of us just going through days trying to get this to work at this point, I was trying to figure out what to do with the floor. I tried smooth stone, but I didn't really like it. I never really used it before, but he liked it. He said it looked classic, so I said, okay, and I was building the floor out of smooth stone. And I'm not going to lie, it's actually a pretty cool block. I don't know why I've never used it before. So that's what we're building our basement floor out of is smooth stone, because actually it fits really good. We also had a cave underneath our... Uh, our basement so we told ourselves that this was a good place for our base uh, the lowest part of our castle to be now we should not dig down any deeper Now that the floor is finally done, I laid out a bunch of different woods and had man gamers decide on, uh, you know, what our wall should be made out of. Because he said either wood or cobblestone. I kind of liked wood better. So, in the end, we took a look at it from far back. It was, and then we just, you know, decided, hey, birch looks best. Let's do birch.
Okay, so I was pretty annoyed when I came in and I found this spider. And it wasn't the first spider I found, so I said I had enough. I had to figure out a new lighting source to help with the lava and the glowstone on the edge. So I said, you know, why not put glowstone in the middle for each side? So, you know, I came in here, I put some glowstone and made a little cross. And uh, sure enough, there weren't no more spiders in here. I know the roof, I already, you know, took the time to make the whole roof cobblestone, but this this part occurred right after the new nether update had just come out, and I saw these blocks, and obviously I already found the armor and all the stuff like that, and I was like, you know, these blocks look a lot better for a basement, so I took the time to replace all the cobblestone with these blocks, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much what I did, you know, replaced cobblestone with new blocks, glue. This part cracked me up, so I'm not even going to make this super speed. You see, I was finding ways to decorate the house, uh, or the castle, and I, f I remembered that part of the new Minecraft update was the respawn anchors, which allows you to respawn yourself back in the nether. Um, and, and I did some research, and I knew that the respawn anchors uh, were activated with glowstone, so I was going to make it look all nice and pretty and stuff. Well... <laughs> Cracks me up even now. I went one too far and boom. I blew my house up. Time to speed it back up. Oh my god. I was I was pretty I was pretty mad right about now because I had no idea it would do that and I was just really mad at myself because now I had to take the time, come in and fix the whole chunk of the castle that was missing. So uh this part was really fun and I learned my lesson with the respawn anchors. Don't go one over glowstone. If you use just one block over glowstone, your nice little tidy area that you're probably residing in is going to be in pieces. Just, just remember that thought. Now, since the nether update was is like the biggest thing about Minecraft now, I wanted a whole room dedicated to the nether. So I went down and to my basement and I made a nice little chunk of area. Uh, this actually took quite some time to get rid of. And uh, I made it, I made a, uh, another room. Obviously, as you can see, the speed is a lot faster than the other, uh, the other parts of the video because this part I really didn't, you know, it took a while, and I just thought, you know, the faster the speed is, the quicker it'll get done, and the less they'll have to see me place down really dark bricks. So, um, yeah.
I really don't know why, but I thought having another portal in every single wall of this room would be a really good idea. I thought it would look really cool. So I cleared out enough of the room to the point where I had another portal on every single side of the wall. And it was just, it was, it was pretty crazy. Uh, and the, the sound effects of the nether portals was just, it was really loud considering my volume was up really quite a bit and then boom you know i had a whole nether room with like five different portals no i'm sorry <laughs> yeah no it was five different portals yeah five i knew that and this pretty much wraps it up for the castle building uh i haven't really decorated the interior yet or the exterior i didn't think i was going to bore you guys with that as long as uh for as long as this video already was but uh, I made a lot of progress, and it took a lot of time and a lot of days, like I said before. And I'm just really proud of this castle. It's a really nice castle, and I plan on doing work and more. And if it turns out really cooler, I guess I'll do like another little clip of it. But this is the castle building tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to see more, um, if you guys want to see more Minecraft speedrun building things. Or uh, just let me know. Or if you want to see me speed run, try and speed run through the whole game of Minecraft, let me know. Uh, yeah, enjoy. Boom, a nice little pic of me in front of the castle. And then boom, awesome Minecraft emotes in front of my castle. Uh, uh, uh.